For those of you who complain that there is not enough time in the hard math module to get to all the hard math questions, what's going on with this one, right? Are, are you taking 20, 30, 40 seconds to understand what's going on, or do you just know the answer right away? Line K is defined by this. Line J is parallel to line K. What is the slope of line J? Parallel lines have the same slope. This is written in Y equals MX plus B. There is nothing to do. The slope is 17 sevenths. So the slope of the other line is 17 sevenths. This is 10 seconds, right? This, this has to be that fast. And so there's a memorization component. You do need to know this thing about parallel lines. But also, I guess there's just like an interpretive component, right? Can you understand that that's all they're asking in just a few seconds? And this is what the math hard module is really all about, is then we're going to, for the hardest questions, take facts like this and twist them up and do all sorts of stuff. But at the beginning of the math, even the hard module, you are going to have very, very easy questions that are this kind of just straightforward, do you know it or not? Can you solve this or not, right? So the real hard stuff won't start for a while, but how much time you spend on something like this is going to determine how much time you have left to spend on the hard stuff later. So you gotta do this stuff first. There's no skipping this and going to the hard ones first. No, that's stupid. Just do the easy ones because they take five seconds. But do they really take five seconds for you or not? If not, that might be the bigger issue. It's not that you're struggling with the hard ones. It's that you're struggling with the easy ones and you're wasting time where you shouldn't be. So hopefully, yeah, you're not watching this video because you got this in 10 seconds and it's a piece of cake.